On a previous video, I made this knife from a file. I had never made a knife before and it turned out really nice. So if you haven't watched it yet, check that video out. But this video, we're gonna make a leather sheath for our file knife. That's something else I've never done, but I have confidence it'll turn out good. So let's get started. The first step in making any knife sheath or holster is to make a pattern. I'm using some heavy card stock, tracing the file knife, and now I'm just going to freehand a knife sheath around it. Once I'm happy with my design, I'm going to cut it out. This part will be the back of the sheath. I'm going to trace it to get the other parts of the sheath as well. This piece will be the front of the sheath. And this piece will be the welt. This is the order that the pieces go together. The back piece is also going to fold and create a belt loop. I'm going to make the sheath from this 8 to 10 ounce veg tan leather. First I trace all of my templates onto the leather using an awl. And then I cut them all out. Before we assemble we need to stain them. I'm using this black water based dye. I like the water base because it dries quickly and you can move on to the next step. I'm being sure to stain all the sides of every piece. Now we need to burnish the edges of the welt. To do this, we just wet the edge with a little water and then rub our burnishing tool back and forth really fast. The friction slicks up the edge and makes it really tough. It's going to need this because the knife is going to come into contact with it. Now we're going to use our edge beveling tool to take off the ridge that was created when we burnished it. To assemble the knife sheath, we're going to use contact cement. Before we do, we've got to roughen up the surfaces that are going to be bonded. I'm using my scratch awl to give it a little tooth. And now we just apply the cement to both surfaces that are to be joined. We let it dry until it's not sticky anymore. And then we carefully line everything up and push them together. You only have one shot to do this. Now to make sure the adhesive is set, we're just going to tap it with the hammer. Now you can see our three layers. They're not exactly even, so we're going to take it over to the mini belt sander and sand them flush. And then with our edge beveler once again, we're going to bevel both the front and the back of the sheath. The flap that folds back and forms the belt loop is a little too thick on the end. We need to shave it down to a taper so that it fits a little more flush. We're just using our sharp file knife to form this taper. And here's what that taper looks like. Next, we're going to touch up the stain a bit. And after that dries, we're going to use our burnishing tool to burnish all the edges. It 
It's time to glue our belt loop. We're using that same contact adhesive. And there we have it. This is a grooving tool. It cuts a shallow groove a designated distance away from the edge. This is going to be the line that we follow for our stitching. To mark our holes, we're going to use these diamond punches. Normally you'd pound the hole all the way through, but we're just marking it. This leather is so thick, it's hard to get it all the way through, but I've got a trick that's going to put the holes in there a whole lot easier. I've cut the head off of a nail and chucked it in my drill press. Just like a drill bit, it drills straight through the leather like hot butter. But unlike a drill bit, because this nail is smooth, it doesn't catch the leather. I found that a four penny nail works the best. Now stain touch up number three. I probably could have waited on number two and just done all the stain touch up at this point, but I just got ahead of myself. But again, because this is water base, it dries real fast and it doesn't slow me down. We're gonna clamp the sheath in our stitching pony and do a saddle stitch. I have a video on making this stitching pony and if you haven't watched it yet, check it out. As of this recording, it's my most viewed video on YouTube. We make sure that the last stitch ends up with both needles on the back of the sheath. Then we cut the thread short and using a bit of flame, we burn the ends and smash them down. And then using our little hammer, we smash the whole stitch line flat. The last thing to do is to shine up the sheath. I like this leather balm. You rub it on with a clean cloth and let it dry. And then using another cloth, you buff it to a shine. Well, I think our sheath turned out really nice. It holds our file well and it looks good too. But let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't done so yet, I'd ask you to consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. It really helped me out a lot. Also, check out these videos below me. I think you'll like those as well. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.